special event happening in Gimli this week. Residents there will be marking the 40th anniversary of the Gimli Glider. It, of course, made headlines around the world. July 23rd, 1983, an Air Canada Boeing 767 runs out of fuel, turns into a glider, and lands safely on a local racetrack. So let's bring Google with Clay on, because he is live from Gimli this morning. Good morning, Clay. What a morning you're having. Who are you speaking with now? Ah, uh, we just had, we just had, uh, oh, okay, sorry, we just had a slight uh, technical problem, I think we're, we're good, uh, I'm with uh, Barb uh, Clunk and Peter Grant, hello, hello. hello. okay, um, yeah, we're live from Gimli, so Peter, uh, and they're both heavy hitters when it comes to this exhibit, so, Peter, we, we, a lot of people do know the story. It was 1983. There's about 70 people on this Air Canada flight, starting in Montreal. It's supposed to go to Ottawa, but things go south real quickly. They realized the fuel was not uh, properly uh, put on the plane. Uh, there was metric versus aerial oh. system. They find out they lose two engines, and then what happens? Okay, so Montreal to Ottawa, stop over, and then Ottawa to Edmonton. They fueled it up in Montreal. This was the first, the Boeing 767, the first ones that Air Canada had that was not Imperial, was the first metric plane. That was the year that Canada went metric. So what happened was, this was the first all computerized plane that could, computers actually compute the difference uh, when changing liters into kilograms. Pilot has to know how much volume he has, but he wants to know how much does it weigh. Now, they were, went to school to learn the imperial system. You multiply by 1.77, 5,000 gallons of fuel. How much does it weigh? Roughly 9,000 pounds. So now he knows what the weight is, and that prevents your takeoff and landing speed. With this plane, the computer did that, but the day the flight left, the computers broke. So Captain Bob Pearson ordered the ground crew to uh, manually load them up. And they had to figure out, it took 20,000 kilograms to get to Edmonton. They had to figure out how many liters that would involve. Well, they weren't trained on it because the computer, up until then, the computer looked after that. No computer. They went back to the old imperial system, and they multiplied by 1.77. But in metric, you should multiply by 0.8. They told Bobby he had 20,000 kilograms of fuel. Well, away you go. He had 20,000 pounds, which is 9,000 kilograms, only half the amount he needed. Over Red Lake, Ontario, they ran out of fuel, boom, and they tried to get to Winnipeg. And that's the end of that story because they ended up in Gimli. Our president, Barb Gluck, is here with the Gimli Glider, and you can talk to her now. Barb, uh, how did this whole exhibit uh, get created? I mean, who, who thought of this and said, hey, you know, we should, we should do something about this? Uh, it had been a thought of mine and a couple of other people for from the 25th anniversary and the reaction to us unveiling the mural on this uh, famous seawall and the people that just came to see the mural. So it just became more focused and in the front of our minds that this exhibit really needed to happen. So we advanced to 2015. In May, I get a phone call from a gentleman in BC and he said, yeah, I've been given your contract and uh, parts of the plane are being sold today. That's where it started. Where it's going to end this weekend, in a sense, uh, the, with a reunion, is the Winnipeg Sports Car Club, who were the drivers that received the passengers as they came down the chutes, shoeless, not knowing where they were. Those Winnipeg Sports Car uh, Club drivers took over and took care of the passengers, brought out tables and chairs, the wives did. The local police arrived, the local fire arrived. So this Sunday, on the 23rd, the actual day of the landing, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, at the uh, race strip, the Winnipeg Sports Car Club is hosting the Gimli Glider exhibit and welcoming the local participation that was there so that part of the story can be told. Yeah, can people purchase tickets for this event on Sunday? It's a free public event. Oh, it's free. It's a free public free. event. Bring your lawn chair, limited seats, uh, seating, and you will be in the area where the plane uh, touched down, and there will be a program. Captain Pearson will be there, race car drivers that were there, boys on the bike, 
Oh. The boys on the bike, I've seen the photos. There are boys on the on the on the dragway looking up and there's this plane coming in silently. Incredible. It's going to be a really neat reunion to have everybody so involved in that first couple of hours after the plane landed in Gifley. Okay. And, yeah. All right. Uh, stay with us. Lots more coming up. Uh, let's go to break.